What's up you guys? Today's tutorial is gonna be a knotted bubble braid. This is so easy and very effective. Let's get started. All right, to start this off, we're gonna go ahead and focus on the top. So we're gonna create a ponytail, very low crown, but before we do, we're gonna use some styling paste by Air. So what's great about this paste, it almost like smooths the cuticle, but it gives it a slight texture too. So when we're creating this style, it's gonna help prevent frizz, it's gonna get give a little bit of grit. So we're just using a tiny bit here, put it in my palms, and then just kind of run it through her hair. And especially on our ends here. Okay, so we're gonna create our first pony. And we're almost going occipital bone area. Taking a hair elastic and securing it into place. Before moving on, we're gonna hold on to that elastic and just pinch and pull little sections up for some volume. So this is where it gets good. This hair is actually gonna be what's gonna be inside our bubble. We're gonna go ahead and take some sections on the side so on our left and our right, we're gonna take these sections, we're gonna go underneath with these sections, creating a kind of an X underneath, so we're crossing them. Now we're gonna create our first knot. So we're gonna take these sections, we're simply just gonna take, cross them and create a simple knot. What's great about that is we're actually hiding our hair elastic too. So now I'm gonna clip the sides of our knots away. So while our sides are clipped away, we're gonna take the rest of the hair and create another ponytail below this before we create our first bubble. Before we create another knot, we're gonna create a bubble through in here. So this hair, that's right here from that knot to that ponytail, we're gonna hold onto this hair elastic and we're gonna pinch and pull it out to create our first bubble here. I'm gonna go ahead and use some flexible hold air spray by Air, just for a little bit of hold here. And then just spread that bubble out. So at this point, we're gonna drop our sides. We're gonna take the sides, and now we're gonna go under the bubble, cross it again underneath, but what we're gonna do differently now is we're gonna grab some hair to the right and to the left, and we're adding hair as we go so we don't run out of hair for our knots. So now we've created that knot. I'm just gonna go ahead and let those kind of rest on our shoulders. We're gonna create another ponytail down here. Just taking a normal hair elastic. Creating our bubble, holding onto that hair elastic again, pulling on that bubble piece. Now that we've created our bubble, we're gonna take these sections here, we're gonna cross them under again. We're gonna grab onto some hair on our right and grab onto some hair on the left. We're gonna create another knot. And actually clip these together here to get them out of the way. Put it right through in here. 
We're gonna create another hair elastic here. Before we do our knot, we're gonna hold on to that hair elastic and really pull on that bubble. If your hair is fine, I wanna go ahead and add that. You can always do a little bit of teasing within that bubble to make it nice and full. So at this point, we're gonna release our clip. We're gonna take those underneath again, crossing it over, taking a piece of hair from the right and a piece of hair from the left and then create our simple knot. Secure it with a hair elastic underneath our knot. Okay, we're gonna spread out that hair. All right, so now we're gonna take some flexible hold air spray at the end, kind of go through our bubbles, make sure that it's you know how you want it. This one's kind of more of a disheveled kind of bubble feel to it. But the key to this style though, is you need the bubbles to have a little bit of substance. You need to have a little bit of grit and texture to it, because if you don't, and the hair is very fine or silky, these little bubbles might kind of fall down. So you don't want your bubbles to pop, you definitely want them to be nice and full. So I'm just going through, just plumping them out a little bit, detailing if necessary. I like to really use um, hairspray kind of all around and kind of almost like massage the hair a little bit, kind of pulling it up to where it has a little bit of a very soft texture to it, but it almost looks like you ran your fingers through it, you know, not um, overly perfect. It has a little bit of separation. So got that in there. Now I'm gonna uh, finish off with some spray shine. So I love spray shine at the end of all my updos and all my braids because what it allows it to do is just really smooth down the cuticle. We have enough product buildup in there that I don't need to worry about the shine spray kind of breaking any of it down. We just need to utilize a little bit. This is a spray shine by Air. Just a very lightweight oil and that'll help kind of uh, tame the cuticle here. All right, so I'm gonna turn her around and then you can definitely kind of add some detailing around the face. We're gonna use a little bit more of the styling paste by Air. What's great about this, it's gonna give us a little bit of definition with the pieces around her face and it helps kind of give it a little bit of shine, helps any of the flyaways frizz, maybe a little on that root area. And that is about it. So that is our gorgeous, fun, knotted bubble braid. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You definitely can utilize it this way or feel free to even tuck it in to create a beautiful updo. See you guys soon.